I bet you're all excited. You woke up and you decided, hey, I'm going to go slay that lawn, Ginger. So you end up at the local hardware store to grab the best fertilizer possible to get that lawn popping. Only to discover that there's like 5 billion options out there. They all have different names. They all have different bags. The colors are different. You're going cross-eyed. You don't know what to do. It's a giant train wreck. Oh my gosh. All right, well, today, that's exactly what we're going to go over. Oh, hey, Heather. No, 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 really stoked you called me back, thanks. Hey, I'm doing a video on what is the best fertilizer. I was wondering if you guys wouldn't mind sending me a couple of bags? Yeah, that'd be great. No, I don't need much. Great, thanks, appreciate you. Bye. Um, well, fertilizer got here lightning fast, but uh, that was a lot more than a couple of bags. Now, as far as the bag numbers are concerned, we're gonna keep this simple. Now, the first number on the bag is our nitrogen content, which causes upward growth. Our second number on the bag is our phosphorus content that causes downward growth. And our potassium is our third bag number, and that is for overall health. So a little nursery rhyme to help you remember this when you're at the store is up, down, and all around. Having a general understanding of what the bag numbers are, the first step to slaying that lawn. Now the second step is really important. It's understanding what's in the soil and what is deficient in the soil. And that's how we're gonna choose the perfect fertilizer. Just like a lot of you guys at home, I like simple, easy solutions. So I use a company called My Soil to do my soil testing. Now the best part about it is it's gonna show me my macronutrients and my micronutrients that are present in my lawn, making this a simple choice. Early this spring, I made a dedicated decision that I was gonna renovate my lawn and kill the entire species of grass out and change from Kentucky bluegrass to perennial ryegrass. Weather was not cooperating with me and I ended up starting this at the end of April. Probably the worst time ever that you could start a renovation like in my area. So I knew I had to be collected and calculated. From the point that I started to the point that I had an established lawn, it took about 45 days. Although I felt these results were amazing, I still wasn't out of the gates yet and I had to keep going. A crucial part of the puzzle is figuring out what fertilizer to put down. And since I like to practice what I preach, I got a soil test. Now, I'm really excited to say that we have teamed up with My Soil to help you guys out at home. Now they have sponsored this video by giving me some free kits, but they've also given me a back-end office where I can put my preferred products. So the link that we have in the description, if you do purchase a My Soil Kit, it's going to already give you the Ginger preferred or recommended products for your lawn. Now the reason why I ended up teaming up with My Soil is because they make this very, very simple. Now this is the dual kit. It actually comes with a little team Teeny tiny little soil probe, uh, but it's perfect for collecting samples. Now, when you open these bat or these boxes, you're going to notice a couple of things. Number one, it's going to have some instructions to it to keep it simple on how to mail things in. So you do have to fill a few things out. But all we're going to do is follow the instructions here. You'll notice. Number one is you're gonna register your product online. It's got some paperwork. Number two is we're gonna collect samples, about seven of them throughout my front and back lawn. And then we are going to put it in this cup that has a filter in it. And it's also going to shake it up while it's in the mail. Now, when we collect the samples, we need to remove the debris. And then afterwards, we're gonna send this kit just the same. We're gonna send this in this little envelope back to my soil. And the best part is everything's gonna go back to you electronically. So you don't have to wait for it to come back in the mail. I got my results in about a week. Now they weren't shocking to me just for the fact that I run a service company here local in Utah called All Green. Now for a lot of you guys out there, this information could be very intimidating to look at. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Now, luckily for us, the experts at My Soil have product recommendations that they're going to make for you so you don't have to do any of the thinking. Now, in my case, the first place my eye goes is to the pH. I wanna make sure that I'm not too acidic or too alkaline. In my case, 
I am spot on. The next place my eye goes is my nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium counts. So you notice my nitrogen is low, my potassium is low, and my phosphorus is actually high. Now, lastly, I'm gonna look at my micronutrients, specifically my iron, because that's in charge of a lot of color. You'll notice all of my micronutrients are low. What I don't want you to stress out is the numbers that are high, because there's not much you can do about that. So we focus on the elements that are low. But ultimately, it's best to leave it up to the experts at MySoil in recommending products. So in your back end office, if you use the links that I've provided in the description of the video, they will push you towards ginger preferred products for your lawn. Now that I got my soil test back and I have a better idea of what reality is, I landed with a Pro-Pete 10010. Now the reason why I did this is because the nitrogen and the potassium are equal parts. My game plan is simple. I plan on using four pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet total for the season. Now, four pounds of nitrogen is kind of a baseline that you don't really want to go above to keep the plants safe. Now, since I'm using the 10010 mathematically, that will also give me four pounds of potassium for the entire season. Now, I'm going to break these treatments up every two weeks. So I'm going to be putting down a quarter pound of nitrogen every two weeks to spoon feed my lawn. Now, no matter how you look at it, four pounds of nitrogen over the season is four pounds of nitrogen. I'm going to be doing 16 applications. But if you're one of those people that likes to keep your grass at three and a half, four inches, and you want to do four applications, do a pound of nitrogen every eight weeks. Not a big deal. As far as which brand and which quality of fertilizer to buy, you'll notice that I've stuck with the pro -Peat brand for a couple of seasons now. And the main reason is, is a homogenous blend. Most fertilizers have nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, potassium and individual pearls of each and they just spin it in a bag that's how you get it when it comes to the pro peat blends homogenous just is a simple way of saying they mix all the batch together so the nitrogen the phosphorus potassium and then each individual pearl has the active ingredient in it. Other benefits include the peat moss retains water. It also slow releases over 90 days, so you have less chance of burning and it slow feeds the plant for better results. All right, here we are about six weeks later. I've put down two apps of fertilizer post seeding, and here are my results. And you can see this lawn is lush. It's thick, it's got some banging color to it. Now I have had a few issues with fungus in the past that I treated for. So I want to include this as well. And I've done one iron app and this thing laps in the iron. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I'll tell you what, there's just something so satisfying at slaying that lawn and having the right products makes a huge difference. I mean, look at these results. My stripes so banging. It looks like you could surf these waves right on in. Now for a lawn that's only nine, 10 weeks old, I'm having tremendous results, but I attribute that to the overall processes that I've taken, having the right fertilizer down, when to apply the right fungicides, etc. Now, if you look at the overall blade density, this lawn is happy and healthy, and that's what I want you to pay attention to. It's rooting really, really well. Matter of fact, these roots are white, and it's almost staggering that I've got four inch roots already from a lawn that is only nine to 10 weeks old. Been really impressed. Not only does the My Soil Testing Kit explain to you what's in the soil and what's deficient, but they're also gonna give you recommendations on what product that you need to have on your lawn to slay that lawn. But guys, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up in the comments below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till next time, guys, this is the Pest and Lawn Ginger. We're slaying lawns. Hey, Rolls Royce, what are you looking at, buddy? What the? <laughs> what the crap, dude? Is that you, Jimmy? You still in the pro beat, Jimmy? That's right. What the? Well, see you later.